So, Ragni, one of the biggest challenges for Dr. Manik Saha is expectedly going to be the factionalism within the state unit of uh, the Bharatiya Janata Party in Tripura. That's going to be a huge challenge because there are camps inside the state unit of Tripura and this one year before elections. More than, you know, the factionalism, uh, you know, what Manik Saha will be facing from right now is the fact that, you know, the opposition will be drawing their guns at, uh, uh, at the, uh, you know, at the last chief minister's tenure. That was four years of Deplab Dev, be it the Trinamool Congress, be it the Congress, be it the left. Everyone, you know, is taking a dig at the fact that the BJP has decided to change the chief minister. And, you know, we heard what Sudhir Prabh Barman stated. He was the health minister. He clearly stated that this move is going to boomerang and going to hit the BJP uh, at, uh, you know, at a spot where they'll be hurt most. That is the ballot. Uh, uh, simply because, you know, all of these political parties, these political leaders, they claim that uh, uh, by changing the chief minister just a couple of months ahead, uh, you know, prior to the elections of uh, Tripura Assembly, uh, the BJP is accepting that the past four years of the club's rule was a complete failure. So this is what not only the not only one political party, but all the political parties of uh, Tripura are accepting. And this is going to be the biggest challenge that uh, Manik Saha or, you know, whosoever it was, be it Pratima Bhomek or, uh, you know, uh, uh, if there was some other leader who was uh, elected as the chief minister had to face, they had to face the fact that they will be constantly pitted against the four years of uh, of Biblab Dev, of Biblab Dev that is being termed as a miss, you know, as a misrule uh, or a miss tenure, uh, you know, by all these political parties. So this is more than factionalism. This is right now the biggest, you know, uh, issue that any person who would be, you know, who as a chief minister would be facing uh, in Tripura right now. That is the past four years of Biplab Dev. Back to you. Right. Okay. So other than the baggage uh, that uh, Biplab Dev obviously has left behind for Dr. Manik Saha to deal with. Speaking of Biplab Dev himself, he of course has just uh, tweeted out uh, uh, Suryagni and he says, I thank the central leadership and the people of Tripura for giving me the responsibility to serve Tripura as the chief minister. I have wholeheartedly served my state and will always work for the betterment of my state. Tripura shall definitely march ahead in the path of uh, development. Jai Hind. As far as Biplab Deb is concerned, uh, Suryagni, what is his future looking like right now? Are you saying that he could be accommodated in the same seat that, Mr. that Dr. Manik Saha will have to vacate in the Rajya Sabha? Or he could possibly be made, again, another seat that will be, another position that will be vacated by Dr. Manik Saha, which is the state president's position. He could be accommodated in either? Well, follow me, one trend that we have mostly seen in BJP rule states is that the chief minister and the state president are not the one, uh, are not uh, one individual. That is something that we have seen, uh, be it Maharashtra, be it uh, Madhya Pradesh or, uh, you, know, uh, you know, be it any other uh, state uh, uh, or, or Gujarat. So, what we do understand over here is that he will, Manik Saha will have to vacate the state president's uh, seat. And uh, what we do understand is that either... Pratima Bhomek will be brought in as the state, uh, you know, as a state supremo for BJP or Biplab uh, uh, Dev will be brought in. But one faction, you know, one factor that we were just speaking about is that uh, there was a lot of factionalism, you know, when Biplab was the chief minister. So if Biplab is made the, ch if Biplab is made the, you know, uh, state president of the BJP, there might be, you know, uh, again another faction which might revolt against him because over the past four years, we have seen numerous such, uh, you know, examples where numerous such uh, factions have revolted against Biplab. The biggest faction being the faction led by Sudhir Prabhu Barman, who eventually who was the chief, uh, who was the uh, second uh, most important leader of the BJP in that particular cabinet. He was the health minister, and uh, you know he walked out and uh, and he joined the Congress right now. Uh, so if Biplab is made the chief, if Biplab is made the, uh, you know, president of the BJP in Tripura, then there might be another round of, you know, internal wars. Now the BJP almost, uh, they have almost nine to ten months uh, uh, before the 2023 elections at uh, Tripura. And the last thing they want right now is another, you know, uh, uh, a messed, uh, a messed house. So the BJP will try and you know make sure that their house is intact, their house is you know in order. 
so that they can fight the 2023 elections as a whole. And that is the reason why, uh, you know, when Biplab, you know, right. resigned and he got out and the first press bite he gave, he clearly stated that they have to fight this together. Absolutely, and he's they ready have very and little he's, time. He's and specifically, Dr. Manik position. Saha has very little time. He has about eight or nine months because the elections are likely to be held in the month of February in 2023. This is almost like the challenge that uh, possibly another BJP chief minister, Pushkar Dhami, faced before he went into the elections in Uttarakhand. He had roughly about five months and he faced an uphill task as well. So an uphill task is what awaits Dr. Manik Shah. Those pictures over there of Dr. Manik Shah being elected leader of the legislative party of the Bharatiya Janata Party in Tripura, flanked by Biplop Deb, outgoing chief minister Vinod Tawde and Bupendra Yadav, central observers of the BJP.